um, now that we're done with our uh, training our model, so we could go and save this model by uh, executing this line. So model.save is going to uh, save the result of our training to our hard drive. Okay. Next, uh, if you do not have this folder just created, so this might cause an error and it might say that you do not have train folder in the, your working directory. So if you don't, just create a empty folder and name it train so that this method does not give you an error. And for the sake of uh, learning, let us uh, initialize a brand new model that is going to be the same model because we just saved it and we're going to load that the model we just saved into the memory. So let us actually say train model new. Okay, the same model here check if the vector size is still the same and yes it is the same now we could actually start playing with our model so if we do this we should see what kind of a what vector does correspond to the stark word so uh, the word stark has this vector so it's fairly huge uh, it's actually like you all know is 300 300 long so it has 300 dimensions within it and you could actually do many sort of things like similarity between two words and similarity, well, let's say Danny and, um, what is there? Uh, Danny and John, how similar they are. Just gives you 30% similarity. And you could always see, uh, always see what are the top similar words to a given, to a particularly given words. So let's say Danny, or you could say John, or you could say Iron, you could say wall, uh, okay, shift enter, or you could say north, east, warden, winter, fell. There are many examples you can do. There are many sort of things you could actually try, and I'll leave you to do it. Well, you could do it yourself, just do whatever you want. You can see similarities, yeah, again, you can see the similarities, you can see the most similar words to any given word. Okay, so the next we should, we're moving on to represent our data. So this is a 300 dimensional vector, which is really hard to imagine for us three dimensional, poor three dimensional creatures. And, we're, and there is a very nice tool that is going to help us to visualize the data in 2D. It is called a T distributed stochastic neighbor embedding. So we import this, and we, well, we don't need to do this step because we already imported the hour. I mean, it's already in the memory. And let us see what our vocab looks like. So you could execute this and see. So our vocabulary consists of these words. And you, yeah, if you don't know what kind of words you have in your Game of Thrones, uh, in Game of Thrones, you could see and play with this. And now uh, we are going to make our transformation of data to a two dimensional format. So by doing x equals brand new model vocab, we are actually getting an array of all the words. So this is a NumPy array. And so we basically have all the words represented within the same array. So every single uh, array. So this is a also a matrix. So it has words. Uh, it has uh, words and the entries within the word are uh, represent the vector that constitutes the word. So x is just all the words. Then we import our libraries like so. And then here comes the very important part. We are actually going to fit transform. What it basically says is we're going to transform this 300 dimensional vector into 2D. So the result should be, so instead of 300 numbers here, so you see dot, 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 means that there are a lot of numbers in between. And uh, what it's going to do to us is uh, make two numbers out of 300, which is nice. So do this, and it should probably take some time. and because it is, a, of course, a very demanding uh, demanding process. Uh, it takes around five minutes on my system. Well, once while we're doing here, while we're doing this, uh, let us go and see how we can play with our word to vector model more. So this is always a good practice to open a new a notebook file so that you don't mess your last notebook file. So you again import your Gensin model and as word to vector and you initialize your brand new model by loading the one you already have trained. And then um, you could just, well, let's say a vector 
a queen vector. Well, just keep it less as a vector. I think that makes more sense. So, a vector that corresponds to a woman, and a vector that corresponds to a man, and a vector that corresponds to a king. So these are basically three vectors here, three three hundred dimensional objects. And if we subtract one from the other and and add the the king, we should hopefully have the. Um, so if we actually uh, more similar by vector, just try to find words that are similar to our vector. So a vector. Uh, we called it a vector and see what is the most similar to the vector that is uh, that is the result of this these mathematical operations uh, we go and say similar by vector the vector we have uh, declared here so if you don't know what it looks like it to remind you what it looks like let me just see so you see this is a typical word so by typical I mean we just had 300 entries just like any word in our model and as a human, I can't tell what it looks like. I can't tell where does it point in that 300 dimensional vector space. And I can't say how close it is to any sort of other word. So, but computer, fortunately, is able to do that. And computers like numbers. And this is what they did. And so we see that the most similar word to our vector is king, queen, princess, woman, Marjorie, something, Khaleesi. Oh, if you don't like this, we could say, let's just go and add queen instead and see what's going to happen. Oh, the same thing. And let us see what's going to be the sim the closest. Queen, princess, Marjorie again. They're pretty much the same thing. So, oh yeah, because we subtract the man, we should add man and subtract women. So hopefully we should have a king here. That is my prediction. Well, we have man, which is not bad. And we have elder and royal, which is closer. But since our database is not very all-encompassing, it does not cover all the literature and all the as scientific entries, scientific papers, and everything. It is hard for our model to conclude that the result should intuitively be a king. Well, despite the quite unfortunate result, it is still not a bad one because we still have the man and we still have royal or something it is plausible the result is pretty good nevertheless or we could say we could see what different combinations of man and woman give so woman minus man plus let's say a soldier gives a soldier a wisp how close wasn't wasn't um, or uh, let's say, what other professions do we encounter in the game of all? Say, cook. Because cook serving. Well, well. Um, what else? A uh, girl. Not a girl, but fight. Fight. Woman, disgrace. Whatever. Well, it is also fun to play with. And let us see what has happened to our transform. It is still. Uh, working and I'm going to hit the pause button and see you in the next video